On the final, there will be several questions counting rhythm in compound time. They're going to look kind of like this one. Might be two measures instead of one. But it will have a rhythm here. And then it will have counting. And it will say which one is the correct counting. So you're going to have to be able to count it and then be able to check carefully. Um, there's some of these that are wrong, some of them that are wrong with common errors that are made, and of course one that is right. So if you just take a minute, minute and look at it, I won't spoil the answer. Pause it for a second, try and figure out your answer. In three seconds I'll tell you the answer to this. The correct answer is this one right there, number three, and so you'd pick that one. So that's great, but let me go over just the basics of counting and compound time. So every thing that's in X8 will be some kind of compound time, like six, nine, and 12, where three eighth notes combine to make a beat. So every three eighth note group that goes by gets a beat. So these are all correct, they all start on one. And after three eighth notes, they do all make two right there. And a dotted quarter note is three eighth notes worth of time because a quarter note is two and the dot gives you plus 50% right there. And so these all do start on three and now it gets kind of hectic. Although this is one, two, three eighth notes. So they do all start on four. The problems are gonna come in here with these notes that are internal in the beat, okay? Let me explain the counting of this again. Um, pretend that this is our first beat here, just like that. The first one on a beat is called the beat, so one. The next one is called and, and the next one is called a. Uh. And it just depends on which one of these they lie on if they do at all. So one and uh, one and uh, one and uh, one and, uh, okay? If you have a dotted quarter note at the beginning of a beat, it starts on one, right? And Remember that we do not put these in parentheses if they're not articulated. And if it's not a beat and it's not actually on a note, we don't write those in at all. So because of that, you can immediately go and look here and say, aha, see I've got a parentheses on the and here, on the ah there. This can't be because we don't write in with parentheses or not parentheses, ands and ahs that are not actually under an articulated note. So this can't be the answer number four, okay? Here, this would be one and a, uh, because this quarter note goes through the first two eighth notes. But then we have to take that out because we don't write in any ands or us that are not actually under a note that's being articulated, okay? And here, it's the other way around. This is one and then the next Thing is and and then ah but we don't write in the ah and we don't put it in parentheses either because it's just presumed that you can count that one and two three and so on so let's go and take a look at what's wrong with these right here so that you understand one and a is correct not a problem two for the whole thing that's correct with nothing else three okay and then we have two eighth notes and an eighth note worth of time. So it would be like three and ah, uh, and this has got the and right there. This is sometimes a mistake made because students are thinking of a uh, simple meter when they go like three and four and, right? So this should have been an ah uh, instead of an and because it looks more like this one right here, right? And then four and, well that's correct right there because the first one would be the beat and the next eighth note right after that would be and, and there's no ah there, okay? Let's take a look at the second one and see what's wrong with it. One E and, well, there's not even an E as a possibility. If you're going, but that looks really familiar, it's because, and we don't get to it in the scope of this class, just because we're gonna try and keep things um, like correct, or sorry, within a limited scope. But if you were in like four, four time and you saw these there, this would be counted one E and, uh, and that's for a different class or a different time. And so there are E's in counting, but not here. So it's just borrowing, I don't know, from something you may have learned in a band class or something like that. 
or private lessons, okay? So this is just wrong. That doesn't, doesn't work, right? And this would be an and, right? So it'd be one and a, uh, like there. Two is fine, three a. Uh, this is right, because we have the quarter note and the eighth note, three a, uh, and then four a. Uh. Well, first eighth note, and then the next eighth note should be and. So there's a mistake right there. We already talked about how this is correct. Let's see what's wrong with this one. It goes one and a, uh, which is great. Two, which is fine. Three and a. Uh. So it's got the three where the beat should be for right there. And it's got the a uh for the last one. But remember, we don't write internal ands and a uh in unless they're on an actual note that's being played. And if we did write them in because they're on an actual note being played, we don't put parentheses around them. So this is extraneous and we wouldn't do that. Same thing here, for and, good, but we wouldn't do that right there, okay? Now there, um, there are some recent training videos that you should go back and look at if this doesn't make sense. Hopefully this all made sense to you. If it does and you're good, then I can tell you that the mistakes I saw in some of the counting worksheets that came in is somebody saw something like this. Maybe they saw like this, and then they saw this. Uh, like that. And I saw it counted like this. One, two, three, uh, four. And, or, and, or something like this. And, and it, they failed to recognize that that was a full beat. So when that happens, then this is a full beat and there. And the funny thing is, is that they've probably got this right somewhere else on the worksheet. And so it looks to me like it was actually just a visual thing where they knew how to count it, but they weren't paying attention. So check your work very closely. Maybe even write this out separately on a different piece of paper at the test to count it and then see what you got in comparison to the other ones. And then check it again for obvious mistakes like you failed to recognize that was a complete beat and you put this as part of the next beat or a previous beat. Okay.